Hello and welcome to Expeditions Rome. This is a game I only found out about about a week ago. That's a lot of about. Um, I actually played the previous Expeditions games, the uh, Viking one, which was the one before this one. Uh, I played it on my channel when it came out, like six years ago or something. Uh, and I played Expeditions Conquistador by myself off camera uh, a long time ago. But now Rome. Uh, probably the most appealing of scenes for me, settings for me. Uh, so that's cool. Very much looking forward to this. However, I'm currently playing the demo, which uh, apparently holds about four hours of content, which is crazy, by the way. In 2021, we're getting a demo for a game which has like four hours of the actual campaign. Pretty crazy stuff. Don't see that very often anymore. Uh, I have requested a press key, but I'm still waiting for an answer. Hopefully I'll get one. If I don't, I will likely continue this Let's Play when the game fully releases on the 20th of January, I think it was. Um, but for now, we have at least four hours or so to get through. So we've got some stuff uh, to, to work with for the moment. But yeah, hopefully I will get a uh, an early access key as a content creator. That would be great. Hit me up. Um, but yeah, let's just start a new game. If you have no idea what kind of game this is, I mean, the best way to find out is just to show you. But yeah, it's basically a tactical RPG, turn-based strategy game kind of thing, which is basically just like the perfect game for me. I always like those kinds of games. So uh, yeah, let's jump into it. In the year of Lucius Licinius Lucullus, Rome was prosecuting several wars of self-defense, most notably in Greece, where Lucullus himself was commanding the legions. With everyone's gaze directed at the provinces, few could have known that a seemingly inauspicious event in Rome would become the central fulcrum around which the fate of the Republic would turn. The paterfamilias of a venerable patrician house had passed away unexpectedly, and a senator by the name of Vitellius Scaevola had made a bid for the hand of his eldest child. His widow alone believed that Skyewala had poisoned her husband and now strove to take his place and claim his property through marriage. Acting in secret, the widow arranged for her youngest child to be taken out of their villa in the dead of night and smuggled out of Rome. All right, we got to create our character already. Cool, so I've actually come up with a uh, lovely name for us now. My first name is Marcus because that's the I think it was a one of the three most common names in Rome at the time and my name of course being Mark not that crazy now my nickname this is this is where things get great is Asinus which is Latin for donkey so it makes sense and also it just sounds really cool and I also have a feeling that this is where the you know the synonym for donkey being ass I'm guessing it came from the Latin word for donkey, Asinus. I don't know if this is true or not, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I've got a feeling that, yeah, the, the reason that donkey is synonym for ass is because of the Latin word, Asinus. Uh, we also have to choose a family name, but we'll go through that in a second. Uh, I am indeed a male, that's what I'm uh, gonna go with. We can make ourselves, or choose a, a portrait, of which there are quite a few. This guy just looks completely out of place compared to everyone else. What is Frodo doing here, man? Um, I want. I guess everyone's clean shaven and back in uh, Roman times. I just want a lovely old beard. Um, maybe I can still choose an actual beard. I'm not sure. We'll have a look at that in a second. I'm probably gonna skip through um, character creation a little bit. I don't want to bore you guys too much with this. I also realize I'm going through these like a billion times at this point. I just kind of choosing the one I like the most. Jesus Christ, why can't I just choose one? I, I kind of like this one. It looks a little serious. Alright, we have a couple of faces. They look very similar. Um, I'm going to go with number one. Skin color. No, definitely sticking to what I look like, which is probably that one or even... Yeah, probably that one, to be honest. Ah, we could do short, medium, and long hair. Let's go with medium. Then we have different hair colors. I don't know if I'm going to try and make him look like me. Um, that would be similar to my hair color. It doesn't really look like this guy anymore, though. And then body, I would... I'm fairly tall, but not the tallest. Well, I mean, I'm average for a Dutch person, but then we are the tallest people in the world, so that's probably making me tall, but not very tall. So let's go with tall. Is that it? Um, so yeah, no beard. Do I have a portrait that looks a little bit more like him? 
Wait, let's, uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Does this... Okay, this keeps me zoomed in. Cause I, I do quite like that one portrait. This one looks like a boy. A boy? This one looks somewhat similar, and I do quite like that. I may have to go with that one. The only thing that annoys me is that he's all the way on the left, and there's so much open space here. That really just pisses me off. This guy's... Yeah, it's just... I would have to go for short hair, but... Nah... I don't have to look like my portrait, but I do quite like the idea of looking like my portrait. Let's just go with this guy. He looks very stern. I need to choose my family name. Right, so we got quite a few. Amelius, Aquilius, Attilius, Claudius, Clolius, Cornelius, Fabius, Furious. Oh, I like that. Furious. Giganius. Genocinian. Okay. Herminius, Lartius, Lucretius, Manicius, Mucius, Nauseus, Numicius. Panarius, Postu Posthumorous, <laughs> uh, Quintilius, Romilius, Sempronius, quite like Sempronius to be honest, Cestius, Sulpicius, Tarpeius, Tarquinius, Valerius, and Vir Virginius. <laughs> Let's go with Sempronius, I like that one, that's a good name. Marcus Sempronius Asinus, <laughs> although that's not really part of my name, but I love it. Let's do it. Confirm that. Right, so now... I have I have looked a little bit of gameplay, because I was very excited to play this myself. Um, so yeah, we get to basically choose... Uh, well, let's just read this. Each of these three perks unlocks unique dialogue options to persuade other people in different situations. Think about what kind of character you want to roleplay, and choose your rhetorical style accordingly. During the story, you may get a chance to master a second technique. Right, so we can go for ethos? Ethos? I don't know. The art of using the power of your authority or your abilities to get your way. Logos, the art of convincing someone with sound logical arguments and reasoning or pathos. The art of winning people over using stirring rhetoric or emotional manipulation. I'm gonna go for Logos. Logos? Um, this is kind of... I just like playing as myself. For not really role playing, I suppose, but yeah. I, I like to convince people using sound logical arguments and reasoning. And then we get to choose our difficulty. I have looked for these already as well. I'm gonna go for Pompeius, which is hard difficulty. Uh, this is just some information about Pompey, really, but... Um, yeah, so we have Augustus, Caesar, Pompeius, Crassus, but they just cor... 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 Corline? Cor... Is that a word? Something like that. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Uh, cor... Correlate? Correlate. Uh, whatever. They, yeah, with the difficulty. I don't know if I want to go insane. Uh, I have look, watched someone play on hard, and it does seem relatively challenging. I do want... I don't want it to be too easy, um, but I also don't want, you know, to have to reload every battle six times. So I think hard is probably uh, appropriate. There's also combat death, which enables permanent death of party members if they bleed out during combat. Be warned if a story companion or your, or your own character dies, it's game over. If this is disabled, non-story Praetorians can still die from untreated injuries. Uh, and we have Iron Man, which, yeah, makes it a single save, which auto-saves, basically. Um, or, yeah, it's a single auto-save. Uh, I'm not going to turn either one of these off, because I feel like this could ruin the whole um, story. I should also mention, by the way, this demo, uh, in case you want to play it yourself, it's available for everyone. Um, and the save file apparently carries over to the main game. So if you play your first four hours in this campaign, or whatever, how much you want to play, and then want to carry it over to the main game when it releases, you can. So you basically just have the first couple hours available to play right now, and it doesn't change anything. So it's pretty sweet. Confirm. Did you hear me, Domine? Your body is surely present, but your mind seems somewhere else. It's also fully voiced, except for, I think, the, your own lines. So yeah, this is us now. I quite like this. This is cool. I'm sorry, old friend. I guess I'm still thinking about what happened. I'm just stunned by the beauty of this sea. Look at how blue it is. And I feel like I'm out of my depth. What will I do here? Um, let's do it. I'm sorry, old friend. Our departure was very sudden, I know. But do not dwell on the past. Better to focus on what's coming at you. I asked the Triarchus how close we are to Lesbos. But <laughs> he would not give me a straight answer. So I just had to get that out of the way. Um... Still just claims we are close to our destination. I wish we'd never let, uh, we never had to leave Rome. The sooner I can wet my blade, the better I'll feel. Indeed. In his defense, there are many islands on this sea, and they mostly look the same. Will you check with the Triarchus? Hopefully he will give you a clearer answer. He right, so told me his name is Geminus. Geminus, okay. So here we are. We have, uh, I guess, the man we think we choose, or the, the sorry, the type of character we choose to play is um, now the option that we only get to choose. 
The man may genuinely not know our position. I will see if I can help him work it out. The other options would have been, you just need to use a little more charm, make him like you. I'll see if I can tease some information out of him. Or maybe he will respond better to someone of real authority. My family's paying for this trip after. I think I, ch I chose the right one. If nothing else, you do have a way of making unreasonable people see reason. You should also go and thank Quintus Aquilinus. I do believe he saved our lives with his timely appearance at the villa. Quintus Aquilinus. This is not going to get confusing at all. Right, so we've got a couple of questions or inquiries. Inquiries. There are so few passengers on this galley. Your mother paid Geminus handsomely to set off in great haste under cover of night. Two others did board with us, also bound for Lesbos. Young Gaius has been pacing impatiently over there, wearing grooves into the deck. There was a gladiator too, but I don't know where he went. Okay, we left so quickly, my mother and sister. Right, so we are the child that was uh, sent away. Do not worry. The Witelius brothers have no reason to do them any harm. Besides, you cannot save them by worrying. Focus on the task ahead. Thank you for coming with me, Cineros. Thank you for bringing me along. It will be wonderful to see my homeland again. Yes, yeah, so we're going to Greece. Well, to Lesbos, I guess. Let's see if Geminus knows where we are. Quest markers point you towards your mandatory objectives and your optional objectives. Quest markers are only displayed for the currently tracked quest. When you have more than one quest, you can change which one you're tracking from the quest's menu. Use WASD to pan the camera so you can see your objective if needed. So you can also rotate the camera with the middle mouse button. Press F to make the camera follow your character. Again! Alright, so I want to talk to uh, Quin Quintius uh, Aquilinus. That's this guy right here. Apparently we're not in a rush You found your sea legs quickly, Domine. Yes. You handle the sea better than most. I'm glad. Centurio, I want to thank you for your timely arrival at my villa. We were never formally introduced, Centurio. I am Marcus Sempronius. No, let's just thank him immediately. The timing was fortunate, but there is no need to thank me. The consul sent me to get you. Please, call me Kaiser, if it's not too familiar. It absolutely is. I do love the, uh, the artwork in this game. Not Aquilini Aquilinus, then you can call me Ass. <laughs> um... Can we go over to plan our departure was far too haste to discuss our course of action? No, call me Asinus. With all due respect. <laughs> no, you're right. You probably shouldn't. No, my Aquilinus. My subordinates call me Kenturio. My superiors call me Aquilinus. My friends call me Kaiso. Okay. So we... So we're going with the... So the, here's the thing, right? Because I remember this as being a massive thing when people play Rome Total War and Rome Total War 2. Or Total War Rome 2. Um, that... You know, you can pronounce them either with a hard K or a soft C, S, what do you call that? So yeah, some people say Centurio, and then others would say Kenturio. And you had, like, this This was a massive thing for, like, so many unit names and, 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 and cities and stuff as well. So I guess we're going with a hard K in this one. So Kenturio, which just goes against everything I know, but... Can we go over the plan? Our departure is far too hasty to discuss our course of action. Ah, she did not keep you apprised. Your mother has secretly been making arrangements with the consul. You are to join his command staff as Tribunus. What are the duties? You'll have very little responsibility. The Tribunus of Allegio assist the Legatus while they learn how to command a military organization. You'll not see combat, nor will you make any important decisions. You'll be safe, as your mother wanted. Sounds pretty shit. This will be an excellent stepping stone to becoming a senator. If I'm going to follow the Legion around, I might as well make myself useful. I'm not here to be kept safe. I'm here to build my reputation and make powerful friends so I may return home and reclaim my family. I might as well make myself useful. I'm sure the console will find use for you. You seem to have a good head on your shoulders. You'll get the hang of this things. This is a nice head on your shoulders. One word of advice. I know Lucullus is a friend of your family, but remember, he is the console, elected by the people to rule all of Rome. It's best if you don't act too familiar with him in front of his men. Lucullus, was he the old man from just now? Um, what is your relationship with him? For many years I was the Primus Pellis of Legio Prima Italica, which he commands. He needed someone he could trust to get you out of Rome and keep you safe. Will you be returning to your position when we reach Lesbos? That position has already been filled by one of my Centurionis. A good man, easily up to the task. My job now is to watch your back and help you settle into your new life. Uh, I haven't asked for a nursemaid. I'm sorry to have to, you have to abandon your position now. I'm honored to have you with me. Happy to be at your service. 
Have you talked to any of the other passengers? I had a brief talk with that gladiator who boarded before us, just to make sure he won't give us any trouble. He seems to have vanished, though. The young man over there, Gaius, is apparently the nephew of the other consul, Marcus Aurelius Cotta. He's here to become a tribunus as well. You should talk to him if you haven't already. I'm sure you'll have much in common. I should talk to the Triarchus. Is that this guy? No idea. Can I talk to anyone else, or is it just now? Oh yeah, we can talk to Geminus. Wait, that's the that's the person we're supposed to talk to. So we can talk to Gaius, right? Gaius, come here, my chat. Can I not run? I heard he's running from a senator who wants him. Salve. Shh, keep your voice down. <laughs> Alright, Salve. I don't believe we have been properly introduced. My name is Marcus Sempronius Asinus. My name is Ash. Have you seen? Haven't seen you born the ship. I'm uh, as to uh, I don't believe you've been properly it introduced. It is a pleasure. I am Gaius oh, shit. Caesar. It's fucking Caesar. Um, although, yeah, in this one they say Caesar, but I I can't, man. It's we, it's Caesar. Well, I mean, maybe it's not, but well, Matt, this is all quite new to me. May I mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. But keep in mind, I'm not the most experienced soldier either. Where are you from? I was born in Rome, but they say my family is from Alba Longa. Why did you join the Legion? That's a long story, my friend. Suffice to say, the powers that be are not fond of me. I have decided that staying in Rome could be, shall we say, hazardous to my health. How many wars did you fight in? To be honest, this will be my first proper battle. I did study a lot, though, and therefore I am well versed in matters of strategy and tactics. This guy's got the most posh English accent for a Roman. This is my first military assignment. Do you have any advice? <clears throat> If you don't play an important part, you will be torn apart. My father used to say. I guess that was his way of telling me to be brave and hopefully not stupid. Alright, we'll talk later, Brod. Brod? What the fuck is that? Bro or dude? Brod. Alright, Geminus or Geminus? What is he looking for? He's been like this all morning. He's been like this all morning. Mm hmm? Uh, Salve. Are you busy? I have a question. Look at me when I talk to you. <laughs> Geminus, wasn't it? Yes, Geminus. Salve. I'm a little preoccupied. The wind has been rather still today, hasn't it? I've noticed the oars have been out since early in the morning. Is that what's causing our delay? So the other ones would be, it's a very fine galley you have here. I'll be almost be sad to step off it when we reach Lesbos. Do we have our destination in sight? Or I'll remind you that until we reach our destination, you work for me. You've been paid to take me and my contingent to Lesbos within a certain time. When will we arrive? Okay, I'm so glad I didn't choose that one. That would have been my second choice, but... <sighs> You're right. The rowers are getting tired. We should let them rest soon, but that will cause even more delay. Wait. What? Um, what is it? Oh, shit. They're headed straight towards us. Oh, They're shit. Gonna ram. Get your father's weapons. Let's see if you can actually fight. Oh, my God. I'm fine, Kenturio. Form up! Let's get these pirates off our ship! Pirates? Preparation phase. Before combat begins, you will often have time to organize your Praetorians into formation within an area highlighted in blue. Simply click on one of your Praetorians, then click where you want to place them. It's generally a good idea to ha put your heavy infantry in front and your archers and support behind them. When you're ready, click the end turn button to begin. Alright, so who have we got? We've got Marcus Sempronius... Ah, oh, that's me. <laughs> uh, Asinus. Patrician, we have okay. So let's have a look at the stats and stuff. I'm sorry if I'm going to take this a little bit slow, but um, so we have eight movement, which is double this guy who's a heavy, um, and then okay, they've got eight and seven as well. I think it's dependent on your armor. So we have shitty damage. Obviously, our weapon sucks. I guess uh, we have 27% fire resistance somehow. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Apparently, we got water spilled all over our our body. Um, okay. Not a whole lot there. We have uh, also we're immune morale-wise. Kaizo Quint Quince Quintus Aquilinus. Let's just stick to Kaizo. It's easier. He's got half the movement. Four. Uh, Forty morale. He's got two types of uh, damage: main hand and off hand. He's got a little bit of resistance, but probably because he's got armor. I think that's uh, oh shit. During combat, characters can take actions in any order. For example, you should move a ranged character a few actions towards an enemy, shoot, and then move back again. 
Okay. You're also free to swap between characters during your turn. For example, one character can move, another character can move and attack, and then the first character can attack as well. You can even move or attack with a character while trying another character. While another character is still moving, try it out. Okay, thank you, but first I want to put my guys in the right place. So Kaizo... Yeah, that's the heavy guy. I don't know why he's turned the wrong way, but uh, there you go. Okay, so he has uh, yeah some resistances. He also has a status effect. See status effects? Strong. For each stack, 25% of the character's shield maximum strength is restored at the beginning of their turn. One stack is lost every time the shield takes a hit. Okay, so yeah, he's got two shields somehow. 25% of the character's maximum strength. Okay, so that's nothing because it's got two. 25% of that is 0.5. Um, and one stack is lost every time the shield takes a hit. So he takes two hits before he even takes health damage. Okay. Then we have Cineros, uh, who is a support. Uh, he does the most damage, actually. Probably because he's got a two-handed stave, it looks like. And he's got fire resistance similar to me as well. Except I've got 1% piercing resistance. He's got 1% bludgeoning. Okay. And then we have Gaius Julius Caesar, who <laughs> famously was an archer. Seven movement, uh, also pretty high damage. The same, and then, yeah, some shitty resistances. Okay. Gotcha. So, yeah, we definitely want our tanky boy up front. That sounds correct. Uh, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's switch them around again. I probably just sit right there. Let's have our support guy in the center, and then our archer over here. Is that good? Maybe we should have, a, maybe we should have me protecting the archer. And this guy can protect him. That sounds like a decent idea. I could go further back as well. Who's this guy? Geminus. Oh, but I don't get to control him. Okay. Cool. Uh, I can see my attacks and such as well. I may as well have a look at that right now before we get into it. Again, sorry if it's taking a little bit of time, but suck it if you don't like it. Uh, we have... So this is my main hand and off hand, which is just a... Uh, uh, okay, that's punch, literally. Okay, so slash or other attack, 2 to 5 slashing damage. Also hits any enemy on the target's left or for half damage. Okay. On the target's left, so like if there was a, a guy over here, if I hit this guy, this guy would also take the damage. Something like that. Uh, that's cool. Uh, and then we just have a punch, right? You have slash as well, same thing. And then we have shield push, 2 to 5 bludgeoning damage. Push the target 1 hex away if there's a free space behind him. Requires minimum 1 shield strength. Gotcha. And then he has brace. Regain 2 stacks of strong. Apply strong to self for each stack 20... Uh, okay, yeah, we saw that. Um, it costs 1 red icon, which I'm guessing we... Everyone has... So you can move, and then I think you can move further if you want to, but then you lose your action, basically. So you can use your attack action to move double, something like that. Concussive Strike. Uh, bludgeoning damage, armor shred, and then applies weaken to enemies, minus 50% damage. Okay, that's good. And then we have Reach, which uh, has two... It doesn't apply to weakened, but it's the same damage otherwise, and has two range. Uh, two axe range. And then our last character... Oh, he also has Logistics. Applies coordinated to allies, plus two mo maximum movement. Okay. Cool. Uh, free hex radius. That would be cool to use early on, I guess. And then we have aim shots from our archer. 4 to 7 damage deflected by shields. Applies harry to enemies. Minus 10% to all resistance. Minus 25% damage. Uh, then we have crippling shots, which applies crippled. The same damage makes them move slower. And interrupt. Knock an arrow and wait for an enemy to move within 120 degree cone in front of you. Then shoot that enemy. 12 hexes range. Deflected by shields, applies interrupted to self. Character will shoot the first enemy moves into their vision cone. Okay, so that does a lot of damage, but you have to kind of line it up. Gotcha. Right, let's do it. To attack an enemy, first select which skill to use. Each skill can be, cannot be used more than once per turn. Sorry, per turn. Many skills require your action point to use and should have limited charges per encounter. Ooh, interesting, okay. Right, well, um, I think... I don't know if I'll, I want to move very far, but this seems pretty good to use right away. So how does this work exactly? If I put it on myself, it has a free hex range. Free hex radius. So if I put this on myself, then, you know, one, two, three, it should even go up to there. This guy doesn't get the benefit from it, I guess. Or maybe he does. I don't know. Let's find out. Ah, uh, he does. Okay, cool. Any status effects supplied to any character will show up in their tooltip. The number indicates the remaining duration of combat rounds, whilst the bar indicates how severe the effect is. Status effects can be positive, negative, or neutral. To get more information about a status effect, press the C status effects key to open a list of the status currently affecting a character. Okay, gotcha. Right, uh, so he can only move. He has done his action, so we can't attack with him any further. Okay, if we go past this guy, he gets an attack of opportunity. Makes sense. I probably want to team up on people. So if I were to use this, 
which has a little four next. To it. I think that's just the number on the keyboard. Actually, I thought maybe that had the, a thing. Right. So if I do that, I could murder someone pretty quickly. But I feel like I should probably just kill someone anyway. So let's not do that. Let's just shoot this guy, and then we probably just finish him off with my guy, right? So if I run up here and slap him with my sword. Untrained enemies. Whenever you kill or incapacitate an untrained character such as civilians or militia, in this case, gym knights, the character who dealt the final blow will regain their attack action. Remember that any given skill can only be used once per turn, and any points saved by uh, cannot be saved for the next turn. Try to finish off untrained enemies for character who can still have a skill left to use in that same turn. Okay, so I have... Oh yeah, so I only use the movement that I got for free, so I still have my full movement that I can now slap someone if I wanted to. Well, let's first of all, uh, so all these old gym knights, militia, yeah, they are. It says it on the left there. Gotcha. Okay, so your damage is three to five. We'd have to roll pretty high to get both those, unless you want to get an extra. Oh, but you can't attack anymore, right? I messed that up. Okay, well, I didn't mess it up. But... So let's go over here, and then we're gonna just slap him. I think. Free. Okay, so we low rolled that one, unfortunately. Then we get you over here, and then I just punch him in the fucking face. Get fucked, dude. Low rolled that one, too. Alright, and then, you can't attack anymore, but you can still move somewhere. You have 18 health. You've actually got some of the highest health we have. I think I'm gonna run... I don't know if there's in the waste for my own... I guess I can always move next turn. I just want to get further away from him. And you're gonna sit over here, because you've got that double range thing we could use technically next turn. Right, so basically, I think that's all I've got. I could move away, but I just get attack of opportunity on the, from this guy if I do. So let's just sit right there. Oh, our friend, right. I forgot about him. He can't do shit. Oh, we got a guy over here as well. He's gonna get murdered in a single turn, though. Oh, you got a nice little cheeky attack on that guy, though. That's nice. And then this guy's blocking other people from getting to us, which is nice. I'm getting slapped, alright. Roman Crotch. Oh, so you took two armor or bludgeoning thingy magic. Okay. We'll face them together. Oh boy, there's quite a few. And there's an archer as well. He's gonna have a crack as well. Oof. Oh my god, our our captain is getting. Where is that who boarded with us? Up there. Up there. Oh. Oh, hey, hello. Never underestimate the value of an impressive entrance. Is he gonna kill this guy? Oh, I thought, it would, I thought it'd be impressive if we killed that guy immediately. Right, so we just gained two shield back. Hold on. For each stack... Oh, right. I got you. For each stack. So this has four... This has four stacks. Now it has three stacks left. So four stacks was... Okay, so next turn we only get one and a half back, which I'm guessing it either rounds up or down. Okay. I think I understand. Sorry about that notification. Right. Um, I want to finish off a guy. So you have uh, the shield bash as well. We need to think about it. I think you actually do the most damage though. So if I can kill this guy off, then you can shoot another guy as well. Which probably is not a bad idea. Uh, do I? Oh, I get to control this guy as well now, right? Yes. Okay, so he has precise stab. 1 to 5 piercing damage generates 1 focus. What does focus do? 2 to 6 weapon damage makes make 2 attacks each at half of normal damage damage what and then we have the all right so this costs free focus make a quick offhand attack at half damage which does not cost an action point ah so you just do like a cheeky little attack okay um so two to six generates two focus makes two attacks each at half of normal damage so is there a chance we just murder this guy no well, unless we roll six six is that correct one to three no it is okay so it is actually half Two targets toes. Oh, so we can we can attack two different people if I want to. All right. Well, I uh, no actually I was thinking maybe I could shoot him and just take that one out. But no, let's just kill this guy. Well, I feel like that's a waste of damage. This guy can guarantee kill him. You've got a really high chance of murdering him. Let's let's just hope that we don't roll a two on this. I think that's probably better. Oh, for f <laughs> yep. Um. Right, well then you do that, which restores the action, applies, regain two stacks of strong. Ah, right, okay, so I understand that now. Then we hope we don't roll a four, oh my god, can we not? Then we hope we don't roll a four on him, 
What's your chance to hit this guy? Cannot see target, right, so there's in the ways, okay. Hmm. Can I shoot him from like here? Would that go in through or let's find out. Yes, okay. So we have I wanna do the I prefer crippling someone else, so let's start with this one and hope we don't roll a four. Oh come on! <laughs> How many low rolls is that in a row? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, then you're gonna have to Oh, I thought this was two tile range. Wait, two hexes. One, two. Why does that not work? I'm confused by that. Um, that's annoying. Okay, so I could move up and... Ah, oh, that's just really unlucky. That's three low rolls in a row. So I don't understand why this doesn't work. He wants to go there, to be, I guess because this guy's in the way? So, oh, I thought the whole point would be that you can, like, kind of spear support the guy in front of you. But no, you actually have to... Okay. That's kind of annoying. So, okay, the best way of going about this is attacking this guy. And then just... Oh, but if I whack... That's... I'm gonna take a free attack if I do that. Oh, that's so annoying. Because it has to be two tile range. Oh, I got... I just rolled so poorly on this. <laughs> Unbelievable. And if I move away, I got attack of opportunity by this guy. I don't know if it's worth doing that for this damage. Let's just use the buff instead. Everyone gets coordinated. Alright, well that is just freakily unlucky. I was hoping I could save this guy, basically, but he's definitely dead now. Oh, he gained a focus from that. That's nice. Now I get to do a free attack. Oh man, I'm gonna fucking die as well. Sheesh. Is that because of hard difficulty? You just only low roll? Is that what's going on? Your turn. Alright, so... Um, this time, definitely gonna finish off someone. You get to do a 1 to 3 damage on this guy for free. Which we're gonna start with. And hope I don't roll a. What is going on? <laughs> Are you joking me right now? What the fuck? This is ridiculous. Alright, you just slap him then, and then... Oh, he was not... Okay, he wasn't like a low-tier character, so I didn't get extra points for that. Son of a bitch, he was an archer. Okay. Oh my god, this is just ridiculous. Right, so you're gonna bonk him on the head. He's also not a... You're deadly with that thing! I've lived other lives before this one. That's pretty low damage again, to be honest. Um... Hmm. Right, okay, well let's just... This guy's got two health. I want to use you, though. Okay, so we cripple him. Then we get an action restored. Then we reduce this guy's damage. Okay. And then you probably move away, but we'll get to that in a second. Um. Oh, here we go. No, I've already used your action. I was thinking I could push this guy away, and then he could do the two-tile range thing. But there's no need for that right now. Okay, so we have six damage we need to do to him. We're not going to regain any points from that, though, so would I be better off trying to kill this guy? Uh, maybe, because you're quite low. So, and this guy would also give me a new action. Hold on. So if I go for the chance of 3 to 5 on you, I have enough movement, I think. No, he's only got 4 movement. I thought I buffed myself. Does that only last for a turn or something? Oh, I guess that's only that one turn. Okay, well, that's pointless then. Um, right, I'm gonna go for the 66% chance of killing this guy. You are joking me right now. What is going on with these low rolls? Holy crap. <laughs> Am I just... Should I re-roll my character? Right, then you're going to just punch him. And then I get to move, and I can slap this guy. I won't be able to kill him, and I might die myself, but there's no permadeath, so it should be fine. So let's get over here, and let's slash this guy. Maybe I'll crit. Wouldn't that be cool? Again, I low-rolled it. It doesn't matter this particular time. But still, come on. What is going on? Alright, so that's my whole turn. I could do some movements. Uh, in fact, yeah, why don't you get closer? An archer man. Yeah, you might as well get closer as well. Okay. It's too be oh, shit, they're murdering each other now. The heck? Did not expect that. No, my assassin bro. Alright. I think we're gonna be able to kill him off this turn. They're all super low. You don't get extra points for killing that guy though. 
So if you just whack him, one health. Why? Is it because of distance? Not sure. Uh, anyway. Oh, you can kill incapacitated people as well. Um, why don't you bonk him on the head? Let's get that out of the way. Don't get any points from that because it's not a uh, big boy. I would like to kill someone myself. Uh, but if I go... That's annoying. Okay, hold on. We can move around manually, though. So if I go right there. And then I can punch him in the throat. I like killing people with my punch. Just a punch. Okay. Two to three, two to five damage. Just don't roll a two. It is un. <laughs> what the? F okay, there's got to be some hard coded shit here going on. All right, Cheezer, you want to murder the last guy? There we go. That's pretty unbelievable. I'm not gonna lie. All right, everyone un. Well, I mean, we're definitely injured, but I guess because it's a tutorial fight, we aren't actually injured. Asshole, Except the captain did die, by the way. The Triakas run us straight into the pirate ambush screen. Allow me to execute him right here and right now. This traitor must be working with them. Yeah, it is a pretty big coincidence. I did he did get I feel like I could have saved him if I hadn't low rolled on my rolls, by the way, but um, I believe so as well. It was too great a coincidence. We're certainly to join a war against pirates. It's not so surprising that we should be able to attack by pirates on our way. Yeah, I think uh, let's not ju jump to conclusions here. Don't be naive. This was no random attack. They were out for blood. It is quite unusual for pirates to attack any ship, let alone a heavily armed Roman galley. They prefer to attack lightly defended coastal towns instead. It's less risky and more profitable. Well, let's go talk to the man. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'll just straight up execute him. Can we at least question him first? Oh, he, okay, he's fine. Right. I mean, I guess we didn't execute him, which means that he was at least very, at the very least, still alive. Um, that's a, our quest log here. Cool. Yeah, let's go uh, chat. Can I do something on their ship? I don't, can I even go over there? No, I can't. I guess because there's a small barricade in the way. Right, Geminus. You steered us into a trap. What do you have to say for yourself? I had nothing to do with it, I promise. They came out of nowhere. I may have to lower the uh, music, by the way. What a nonsense! By Mars, it is the sea. How can anyone come through me? Yeah, that's a good point. We cannot execute a man based on no evidence. Besides, we need our Triarchus to make it safely ashore. <laughs> what do you say, kid? What do you think we should do? Well, can I, first of all, yes, I can. Perfect. Let me lower the uh, music volume a little bit. Because that is incredibly loud. And still very loud. Wait, let me mess around just a little bit. Alright, hopefully that'll be a little bit better. Uh, well, yeah, first of all, I gotta say, it is a little bit weird that... <laughs> like, how did we not see that ship coming sooner? We're on the fucking sea. We should be able to see pretty far. Um, unless you... Or a flat earther, in which you should be, able, in which case you should be able to see infinitely far. But let's go not get into that right now. Um, why are you asking me? You're the primus. This kind of decision is your responsibility. Why do you want him dead, gladiator? Guys, if pirates don't attack ships, as you say, why would these ones make an exception? He needs to be executed. What's done is done. There's nothing to gain from executing the triarchers now. Um, so I guess we, yeah, basically asking everyone a different question. So let's start with the top. I'm just a humble Cantorio. Albeit a particularly well dressed one. Sorry right about that. Nicholas has greater plans for you. It's still very loud. The time to rely on others to make difficult decisions for you is gone. Why do you want him dead, Gladiator? We are close to our destination. And we can reach it without him. If there is a possibility that he is working with the enemy, we cannot risk to let him live. Mercy, doubt. Hesitation. These are all openings that the enemy can exploit to kill you. This man's value to us is far less than the threat he may pose. Hmm. Interesting. Once again, you're very much overshadowed by the ridiculously loud music volume. What the fuck? Wait, what if I just turn it off? Is it? It's still going. Okay, so it's not music volume that's being the problem right now. 
right, so let's just up that again. There must be something else. I don't know. Is it UI somehow? Is it supposed to be a different one, but it's like the wrong one? Is no, nothing. See, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Right, let me mess around with this some more. I, I, I don't know what's going on. It, even if you turn the music all the way down to zero, it still goes. So, must be something, something else going on here. Um, anyway. Guys, if pirates don't attack ships as you say, why would these ones make an exception? We are many of us important people on our way to join the action against Lesbos. Is it not conceivable that the rebels heard of us? The kingdom of Pontus is known to sponsor pirates, to harass and weaken Rome. I do not believe we have any reason to suspect our Triarchus of colluding with them. Yeah, I, I don't think it's worth executing him right now. I'm going to try one more thing. Nope, it wasn't a voice volume either. <laughs> this volume doesn't exist. Uh, what's done is done. There's nothing to gain from executing the Triarchus now. Very well. We shall spare his life. But remember, mercy is a luxury you will not always be able to afford. I disagree. The cost of mercy is a price I will always be able to pay. Perhaps, but in this case, we certainly can't afford to lose our Triarchus. We still have to reach Lesbos. Uh, I disagree. I will hold you to your word, young man. Thank you. If you ever again need the help of a skilled navigator, I am at your service. Rowers, up to tempo! And keep your eyes open. Alright, so that went a little bit fast. We had some people apparently approved, others didn't. I'm not looking, I'm not seeking your fucking approval. I'm a praetor of Rome! No, I'm not. But I think that is a quote from Spartacus. Uh, right, so now we get to choose our class. So we have the prin princeps, probably. Princeps, princeps. The veles, veles. Sagittarius, and the triarius. So, let's uh, go through these as we go. I think I already know who I'm going to play or what I'm going to play as, but uh, still. The princeps. Heavy armor and sturdy tower shields give Rome's frontline infantry unparalleled survivability. The princeps is the most straightforward class to play. Defenders. So you have a subclass as well, you choose afterwards. Uh, defenders focus on survivability and protecting allies. Vanguards charge into the fray and excel at using their shield as a weapon. And veterans lock down enemies and resist enemy attempts to do the same to them. We also have, yeah, different starting abilities, I guess. So, Brace, we saw that one earlier. So, one of our... I think, obviously, it's a party-based game. So, one of our party members, at least right now, I don't know if we get to keep him all the time, but... Um, has Brace. Then we also have Frein, minus 10 morale to all enemies within range. That seems pretty decent because, as we already saw, morale is a pretty plays a pretty big factor because guys started attacking each other. Uh, and then we have knockdown, bludgeoning damage, applies knockdown to enemies. That's pretty cool. Then we have the Veles. The speed and unpredictability of light infantry allows them to cause great chaos among enemies. Oh, actually, hold on. We also have equipment. So best armor type is heavy. Class weapon shield provides an extra bar of hit points. And then, yeah, they have different types of... Armor, so regular armor, heavy armor, Lorica Musculata, one. Resistance and such. Uh, big old helmets, a spear, which he was using a sword though, wasn't he? Five to one base? That seems weird. Why is it not white? One to five. Shield strength, two. Okay. Uh, cool. And then, yeah, so next one. Um, subclass. Assassins have good mobility and high single target damage. Duelists are evasive fighters that dodge and weave between attacks. And brawlers are versatile fighters that excel at penetrating enemy lines. I love me some penetration. Apply Savage to sell. 100% critical chance for the next attack by this character. Cost to focus. Okay, so it's something that doesn't cost an action, just focus. Uh, Shiv. 2 to 3 damage. Make it uh, we had that one earlier. And then Tactical Advantage. Applies Tactical to self. The character will not incur attacks of opportunity for 2 focus. That's cool. Uh, they have medium armor, dagger can be dual wielded. Cool. Gotcha. Oh, the Pugio. Poo poo Pugio. Sagittarius. The ability to strike at a distance makes archers very flexible, hampered only by shields which deflect their arrows. Marksmen are defensive archers that deny areas to the enemy. Hunters are close range multi target shooters, and snipers prefer to pick off single targets at great distance. Marksman is the ability we saw but I didn't use. Quick shot, 4 to 7, piercing level shoot, 2 individual select. Uh, select Individually select the targets with 30, minus 30% 30 accuracy and 30% chance to miss. So, this is like a 60% chance then to miss, essentially. Um, that's, yeah. And then ranging shots. Uh, 12 hexes, 2 hex ra uh, radius. Apply spotter 2 hexes. Ranged attacks against this target deal full damage regardless of distance. I need this! 
I need this very much because I fucking only roll low. Uh, they have light armor, a bow range is determined by accuracy. Okay, so they have minus one, zero armor, we have minus one movement. That's, that doesn't seem very fair. Um, okay, and then we have Triarius, this third line of us, Roman Legion can reduce the effectiveness of enemies and improve the performance of their allies. Medics heal their teammates and remove negative effects. Flag bearers control the battlefield by buffing allies and moving enemies. And destroyers deliver deliver <laughs> deliver devastating attacks that damage enemy armor. So normally I would almost always go for medic. The problem in this particular case is that our group, as far as I can tell, already has a medic, which makes me kind of sad because that's what I wanted to play. Uh, but it feels a bit dumb to have two people with the same abilities. And maybe you can change those later on. But I have, you know, the second choice for me would be this uh, this um, class, which is still kind of cool. I like buffing and debuffing. I'm mostly buffing, but I just like, yeah, helping my own team, essentially. Um, so yeah, this gives us the extra movement. We already saw that. So then we have Warhorn, area of effect, 6 hex radius, I think it's multiple targets, applies rallied to allies, plus 25% damage. Seems pretty good. Also, I think that there's a little 2 on it, so I'm guessing it does count for 2 turns. But then I used this earlier, and it didn't seem to count for 2 turns, but eh. And then there's a, yeah, this is a completely different kind of character, Destroyers, which is just an attack. 4 to 7 piercing damage, 1 armor shred, 50% damage against a target who is stunned, struck, uh, stuck, knocked down, or sundered. Also, 2 hex range. But I'm gonna go for um, the Warhorn. We're gonna go for Flag Bearer. Uh, best armor type strong, which is interesting because this one is called heavy. So you got heavy, medium, light, and then strong. I guess because heavy has a shield and strong doesn't. Uh, pike and staff are our weapons, and two-handed weapons shred armor. Cool. So we have heavy Lorica Hamata, one uh, one armor <laughs> minus three movement. It's really bad. Uh, good resistances though. We have a Princeps helmet, one armor bludgeoning resistance, and we have a worn pike. It's four to seven base damage, armor shred one, critical damage. Free and we have some abilities with it too. Cool. So yeah, we're gonna go for flag bearer. Done. Can I, I I think that's just switching, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's just see if I can pick up multiple. Uh, yeah, flag bearer. Let's do it. Oof! Look at this guy. He doesn't mess around. Some kind of rogue. We find ourselves in Turkey. Gentlemen, welcome to Lesbos, the pearl of the Mediterranean. <laughs> An ugly nest of pirates. An impenetrable fortress of pirates, more like. With an infinite food supply thanks to the strength of their fleet. We shall find a way to limit this infinite supply, then. You think like an Imperator, Gaius? All right, people. This is Lucullus' war camp, the heart of our operations in this territory. You have been seaborne for a long time now. I suggest you walk it off. See the things you have to see, and meet the people you have to meet. The Consul waits in the command tent. Don't be too late if you don't want to see him angry. Caesar fucking ran off. He just, I, oh man, look at him, he's still going. He's gonna have a chat with Lucius Lucinius Lucullus, which is the most confusing name I've ever seen. Cool, right, well, I'm gonna call the first episode here. Uh, find and talk to Lucullus when you're ready to proceed, cool. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna explore camp um, next episode. Maybe do some more stuff besides that as well, but yeah. It's a, a nice little ending for our first episode here, I think. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this so far. I certainly have. Although I do wish that next time we play this, I don't roll as many fucking low rolls or whatever you want to call it. Um, look at this guy's armor. Absolute beast. Anyway, that'll be that. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, have a good day and goodbye.